Fisher here at Hollywood Smoke for 10 Count. This is Steve Kim, joined by Doug Fisher and Michael Rosenthal of Ring Magazine. Gentlemen, uh, July 25th at the Mandalay Bay, Sergey Kovalev takes on Najib Mohammedi, who's not exactly Archie Moore or Bob Foster. <laughs> is, it, is it fair to say, Doug, especially from our perspective, the best part of this promotion is that it's at our favorite hotel where the yeah. flying fish is playing. The Mandalay Bay. <laughs> I mean, so many memories there. I mean, this is... Uh, you know, um, by Las Vegas standards, it's one of the newer, you know, event centers. Opened up in 99. Right. And I believe the first fight, and I was there, I, you were probably there, it was Oscar De La Hoya versus Obacar. Yes. You were probably there as well, Michael. We were all there. Um, and from there, there were some memorable nights. There was the, the first fight between um, Eric Morales, Morales and, and, and Marco Antonio Barrera. Vargas De La Hoya. There was, uh, there was Vargas Trinidad. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, that first round, the whole, everyone night. standing up as Vargas is answering that invisible cell phone after getting wobbled by those left now? hooks. And he couldn't. Yeah, and he got up and fought into the 12th round. There's so many, you know, we saw... Um, Lennox Lewis. Uh, David Tua. Yeah, fight David Tua. Well, that was forgettable, okay? Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is there were some great fighters who fought there. I, I think uh, James Tony beat uh, um, Evander Holyfield yeah. there. And, and just so many fights. Um, oh, of course. Uh, 2005, Diego Corrales versus Jose Luis Castillo. That epic first yeah. encounter. So, it, great fights. Great memories. Um, and, and certainly, um, Sergey Kovalev has the kind of style that uh, pays homage to the likes of yeah. Eric Morales and Diego Corrales and Jose Luis Castillo. Um, he's, a, he's a boxer puncher. He's a guy with power, with excellent technique. Um, and, and for my money, he's the best light heavyweight in the world right now. Michael, when you look at the situation with Ring Magazine, I know Stevenson is the champion, but in your heart of hearts is the best light heavyweight in the world, the crusher. No, 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 absolutely. I think it's almost unanimous that uh, Kovalev's the best light heavyweight. I would love to see them fight each other to, to, to determine that conclusively, but, but it hasn't happened. But like, like we've said before, you know, Stevenson was in the right place at the right time to fight the guy who had the title, and he became champion. I, I just wonder, though, at main events, which has done a lot of things right, and I'm a big fan of Kathy Duva, uh, I think they got caught with their pants down with the whole situation where they called for the purse bid, <laughs> tried to enforce it, they thought they cornered him, and then they had the PBC trap door. Then all of a sudden it made it look like they were ducking. I don't think anyone's ducking each other. There are divisions in boxing. You're not going to be able to overcome. But right now, I think main events a little bit is on the spot, though, aren't they? Because you went from challenging Kovalev to now to taking on Najib Mohammed. Right. That's tough. You know, it, it, it's, um, you know, fans, when the talk was first on, you know, to making... Stevenson and, and, and Kovalev happened. Um, Stevenson was really kind of the, the, the guy who was better known. Yeah. He was the guy with the, with the more momentum. And I, I think Kovalev, um, with the help of Bernard Hopkins, he gained ground on Stevenson. Um, in fact, that, that win was, was so sensational, you know, shutting out a guy who'd never been shut out. Um, you know, granted, he's close to 50, but he's a first ballot Hall of Famer, and for my money, an all-time great. That was enough to earn Ring Magazine's Fighter of the Year for 2014. So you had Stevenson, who was Fighter of the Year for 2013. You have Kovalev, Fighter of the Year for 2014. And I thought that he, he capitalized on that Hopkins victory with a, a nice little shootout with former light heavyweight champ Jean Pascal uh, in, in, in Quebec earlier this year. Um, so fighting Hamedi, I'm sorry, not uh, Mohammedi. No, Mohammedi, yeah. Najib Mohammedi, he's a complete unknown. Even among hardcore fight fans, they really haven't seen a lot of this guy. He's not a bad fighter, he's by the way. He's a, he's a mandatory. They have to fight him. He's, he is a solid top 10 contender. He's been ranked by Ring Magazine for, for more than a year, but it's a huge step down after fighting the likes of Hopkins and Jean Pascal and having all this talk about fighting uh, Adonis Stevenson. Yeah, and according to Kathy Duva, they will be fighting perhaps in the fall in Russia, and then maybe next year, a guy by the name of Andre Ward could be in the mix for Sergey Kovalev. Well, that's it. July 25th, he takes on Najib Mohammedi from the Mandalay Bay on HBO. On behalf of Doug Fisher and Michael Rosenthal, this is Steve Kim saying, till the next round, goodbye, everybody.